Hi everyone, me again from the uh, Bryson City area. We're on uh, Moonshiner 28. Just hopped off of Needmore Road, Teleco Road, and then heading back. Thought I'd relay something that was uh, happened in the where we're staying this morning. Um, a uh, couple pulled up pulling a trailer. Uh, camper uh -oh. and uh, have a pickup truck with a big Harley in the back of the pickup truck and he had one of those uh, hydraulic or cable driven uh, clamp rack systems where you could where the whole the whole thing kind of rotates back and then tips down at a 45 degree angle and then then you it lowers you lower the bike back off of that right ride it back off of that and uh i didn't see him i was inside the our camper and i didn't see him until he already had it up at 45 degrees taking it off and i saw him over there and i said yeah i wonder if he needs some help and i thought well i had some stuff to do i was trying to get the bikes ready so we could go ride so i said well you know he looks like he knows what he's doing well that was sort of a mistake on my part. Um, I moved one of the bikes and went back and got the other one. And when I came back with it, with the second bike, uh, I looked over there and there was a crowd of people uh, gathered around and his bike was laying on its side halfway up and down the ramp. And this is a big full dress Harley. And uh, so uh, I walked over there pretty quick and they were trying to figure out what to do and the man was able to retract the ramp most of the way and so the bike was pretty much on the ground but it was laying really even not just on its side it was actually almost on its top uh, it was really laid over really good and there were already a couple of guys there and, and between uh, the owner and, and two guys and me and, and uh, the two women that were there we actually managed to muscle that thing back up onto its feet and I popped the stand down and, and uh, uh, it's got to sit there and it wasn't hurt too bad I broke a little piece off the end of his uh, handlebar you know a little cover off the end that covers the hole and uh, skinned up one of his boxes a little bit but uh, really not too bad you know it could have been a lot worse the worst thing that happened was that somehow in, while doing that he got hit in the head he was he had a little trickle of blood running down right from the crown of his head he said he felt okay he said it wasn't bad it was just a just a scratch i don't know whether he, he hit the gravel or uh, uh, whether he uh, whether he, the bike hit him as it went down but he was on the bike when it went down but uh you know crazy stuff happens i mean he got a really nice way of loading and unloading it and what had happened was the way he explained it it has safety straps so that it can't tip over and you can lower them all the way down with the straps on well he had was just getting ready to unload it and he had taken the straps off and he decided last minute so that it's really only held on by the clamp at the front wheel and so he decided at the last moment to uh, run it up just a little ways up so that he could get down be easier to get down really low and wipe it down he's a real real pretty bike he wanted to wipe it down and make sure he got all the dust and road grime off of it from uh, trailing it up from uh, hauling it up on the back of the truck and uh, that's what happened he got it up there a little ways and wiped it down and then got back on it to come back down and without the safety straps for some reason the clamp released holding the wheel and uh, that it started going down without him and, you know with it without his any input from him and that's when it tipped over but um, I have uh, I'm sure that we've all been there where we've had a bike fall over or laid one over and had to pick it up one of the reasons that I'm on this Riker is because Susan and I we just putter around up here in the mountains <clears throat> excuse me we putter around and people catch us all the time and we pull over for them and a lot of times where we pull over is kind of sketchy uh, if you're on two wheels and if, it, if my bike my big old Yamaha if it falls over the wrong way downhill I'm gonna have a real hard time picking it up in fact I might not be able to pick it up now uh, Moto Giant 
was showing on his uh, video the other day this cool device that used a uh, ratchet strap and an expandable uh, pole that you could hook up to your tank and put one in in the ground and, and you could ratchet it up to about 45 degrees or so where you could then push it over pretty easily. I think matter <clears throat> if I <clears throat> if I were riding the Yamaha up here in the mountains, I think I would definitely invest in one of those or, or make one. I think I could probably fabricate something that would work. But uh, he said it was heavy, hard to carry around. But I know you've all had to uh, have stories about when they tipped over on you. Uh, I've been always more embarrassed than when it happens uh, than uh, anything. I've uh, with Susan on the back at the same intersection that was kind of gravelly. We have both had to step off of up off the Yamaha, and uh, one time I was riding by myself, and uh, quite frankly, I missed the stop sign that was kind of stuck back in a bush, and a car pulled out in front of me, and it was he had the right of way, and I hit the front brake and laid it down, and uh, just fell over. It wasn't really a lay down; just kind of just fell over. And uh, but both all three times, my adrenaline was flowing so good that I just snatched it up and didn't even think about it. You know, and, uh, but uh, the older I get, I think the harder that's going to be. And you never know, you could always get hurt when it goes down, like he did. He could have got hurt a lot worse. But, uh, maybe, uh, you know, maybe if I were going to go back on two, I'd go back to something a lot lighter. Uh, you know, I could revisit my youth. And, I mean, the good old days, you know, I rode, uh, started out on a Honda 350 and then went down to a Honda, uh, to a Yamaha 250. Uh, rode those for years all through school. And then uh, once I got a job and started working full time, I uh, bought, a, bought a bike from a guy I knew, 1100 Yamaha, which was quite a jump from those two. And I don't know that I want to go all the way back to a 350, but I could see going back to a 500, something around those lines. Something a little lighter, something, you know, that that I could pick up if it went down. And I don't drive really long distances anymore. I don't I don't commute to work an hour and a half like I used to. And uh, We just come out and ride for fun, and I, I ride around town in Smyrna a little bit. But, you know, what do you guys think? What are your plans? Are you going to stick with the bike you have? You know, or are you going to, you think, you know, I know a lot of us go to three wheels because it's so much easier. I mean, it's effortless. You know, I could ride this. I would imagine I could ride this, you know, in, in my night, well into my 80s and 90s. But uh, you know, if you're going to stick with two, what, what's your what's your thoughts? Smaller? You know, stick with what you got bigger. You're going uh, to. I've seen accessories where people can put uh, uh, feet that pop down on on their big cruisers that hold it help hold it up at a stoplight. You know, is that something you would consider? Or, you know, what do you think? Let me know. It's a beautiful day out here on Highway 28. The uh, leaves have not changed fully yet. I think we're about a week early, uh, but uh, maybe maybe two weeks. But uh, if you get a chance, come on up here and check it out. You really like it. We really love this road. I love about that house. That's a nice house right there. I like that a lot. Couldn't get it now though. Too many steps. All right, everyone. Take care. Bye bye.